We will now look at part B of this problem. So once again, consider a collision between two different atoms having masses M1 and M2. Denote the velocities of these atoms before the collusion by V1 and V2 respectively. Denote their velocities after the collusion by V1 prime and V2 prime respectively. It is of interest to investigate the energy transferred from one atom to the other as a result of the collision. Introduce the relative velocity capital V, V1 minus V2, and the center of mass velocity C, M1 V1 plus M2 V2, divided by M1 plus M2. The relative velocity after the collision is capital V prime, V1 prime minus V2 prime. We have shown that the magnitude of V prime and V are the same by conservation of energy and um, C remains unchanged by virtue of conservation of momentum. And we have shown in part A that the energy gain in the, uh, of the first atom is uh, given by this expression I. Now in part B, denote by theta the angle between capital V prime and capital V by phi the angle between the plane containing uh, V prime and V and the plane containing uh, C and V and by Psi the angle between C and V show that I then becomes this expression and we also have the theta between V prime and V okay so uh, basically I'm going to have uh, two vectors V prime and V with an angle theta in between them so that's what I'm showing you here and by phi the angle between the plane containing V prime and uh, the plane containing uh, V so that's uh, this angle here between the two planes phi and uh, and that and it's also the plane containing C and V so C and V are in one plane V and V prime are in another plane and the angle between these two planes is phi and psi the angle between C and V. C and V, I have the angle psi. Okay, so as you can see, I have set up um, three unit vectors here. So E1 vector, unit vector. Uh, so let me note here E1, E2, E3, unit vectors. And E1 points in the direction of V. E3 is perpendicular to E1. It's on the same plane with V prime and V. Uh, E2 is perpendicular to E1. It's on the same plane with C and V. Uh, and you can see here from the dot products, the dot product between E1 and E2 because they're perpendicular is zero. E1 and E3 is 0, E2 and E3 is cosine phi because phi is the angle between the two planes. Okay, so I go back to what I'm supposed to show here. So let me uh, take a look at what is changing from this expression to this expression. Well, it's this part. C dot V prime minus V has been rewritten as uh, this uh, explicit statement uh, using the angles okay so I need to consider uh, C dot capital V prime minus V uh, so this is the question what is capital uh, V prime minus V dot product with the center of mass velocity C so in terms of these unit vectors I can uh, write my vectors v, v prime and c so you can see that uh, capital V uh, can be written as the magnitude V multiplied by E1 so it is in the direction of E1 so it is capital V multiplied by E1 uh, on the other hand the vector V prime has a component on the axis that contains uh, the vector V so it is capital V prime cosine theta E1 so I'm decomposing it 
into its components and it has a component on e3 axis so it is plus v prime sine theta e3 uh, then i can write the vector c in terms of its components c is uh, its magnitude c so maybe it's better to write it in the next uh, row so vector c on the other hand is uh, c cosine psi e1 plus c sine psi e2 so i have also decomposed uh, c into its components along the unit vector e1 and e2 because that's the plane those vectors are on the plane that contains c and b okay so let's take a look at uh, the vector v prime minus v what is v prime minus v it is uh, and, and the other thing i would like to note is v prime is equal to v the magnitudes were the same uh, where do i get that from i get that from the conservation of uh, energy so v prime magnitude is equal to v and we have shown it in part a explicitly remember it was uh, obtained in equation uh, let's see in equation number four where uh, we have seen that uh, the magnitudes should be the same in part a okay so uh, v prime minus v then should be so instead of v prime i'm going to write v uh, v cosine theta e1 vector plus v sine theta e3 vector minus v e1 vector so this is going to be v cosine theta uh, minus one e1 unit vector plus v sine theta e3 unit vector so now i have to take the dot product between uh, c and the vector v prime minus v so c vector is uh, the magnitude c cosine psi e1 plus c sine psi e2 Um, and the vector v prime minus v i can write as the dot product v cosine theta minus one e1 unit vector plus v sine theta e3 unit vector now i see here i have c everywhere and also i have v everywhere in these terms so i can take this into uh, cv parentheses so this is cv uh, cosine psi e1 plus sine psi e2 dot product with cosine theta minus 1 e1 plus sine theta e3 so now all i have to do is to uh, look at this set of uh, dot products between the unit vectors to figure out what will come out of this uh, dot product at the end so let me uh, copy this uh, result to the next page and continue from here so this is what we have and if we take this one step further this is going to be uh, this can be written also as uh, cv 
um, the dot product between E1 and E1. So we will have cosine psi cosine theta minus 1. The dot product between E1 and E1. That's the first term. And distributing the uh, addition over multiplication. And then I have cosine psi sine theta e1 dot product with e3 then I have sine psi cosine theta minus 1 e2 dot product with e1 then I have the last term sine psi sine theta e2 dot product with e3 okay so let's figure out these dot products e1 is a unit vector so its dot product with itself will give me one so this is going to give me a one e1 dot product with e3 e1 and e3 are perpendicular to each other so that will give me a zero so this term doesn't exist e2 dot product with e1 e E2 and E1 are on the same plane that contains vectors V and C and they're perpendicular to each other. So that product also, that product also gives me a 0. So this term doesn't exist. E2 dot product with E3, on the other hand, since they're on different planes that have an angle phi in between, is cosine uh, phi. So this is going to give me a cosine here so I can rewrite this as the dot product C dot V prime uh, minus B can be written as CV cosine psi cosine theta minus 1 uh, and then I have plus sine psi sine theta cosine phi. So let's see if that is the answer I was looking for. So here cosine psi cosine theta minus 1. That's the first term. That's what I, I have obtained. And sine theta sine psi cosine phi sine theta sine psi cosine phi is what I have obtained so because the rest of this uh, is the same uh, I can write delta epsilon 1 as um, m1 m2 m1 plus m2 to the power minus 1 and then I have the dot product which gives me CV cosine theta minus 1 cosine psi plus uh, sine theta sine psi cosine phi. So basically I have obtained the result suggested by the problem statement. So we have shown that this is correct. So let's review what we said. Uh, we are going to work on this dot product between the center of mass velocity and the difference between the relative velocities v prime after the collision and v before the collision. And that's relative velocity. is a velocity of uh, the first atom with respect to the second atom after and before the collision and we call the theta angle between v prime and v v prime and v vectors the angle between them is theta phi the angle between the plane containing v prime and v and the plane containing c and v so there are two planes c and v and v uh, are in one plane and v and v prime are in another plane the angle between them is here that is this angle phi 
and uh, psi the angle between c and v c and v on the same plane and the angle between them is psi so we want to calculate the dot product v prime minus v dot product with c so we look at the decomposition of these vectors into their components along perpendicular axes on the planes that contain them so in the plane that contains v and v prime i have defined two unit vectors e1 and e3 that are perpendicular to each other and in the plane that contains v and c i have defined two unit vectors e1 and e2 perpendicular to each other such that the unit vectors when i dot them when i take the dot product between them uh, it's going to be one so i can be one two or three if i take the cross uh, terms e1 dot product with e2 since they are uh, perpendicular to each other is zero e1 dot product e3 is zero however e2 dot product e3 is cosine phi because they are on two different plays with an angle phi in between them so uh, the rest is basically decomposing the vectors into their components v vector is magnitude v e1 unit vector v prime vector has two components v prime cosine theta in the direction of e1 plus v prime sine theta in the direction of e3 and the center of mass velocity has two components c cosine psi e1 c sine psi e2 so v prime minus v vector becomes in terms of components v prime cosine theta minus v but v prime and v are the same thing the magnitudes were the same that was shown in the problem by using conservation of energy so i can substitute for v prime v i obtain for the vector v prime minus v v cosine theta minus one e1 plus v sine theta e3 and then we write for the c vector the decomposed version c cosine psi e1 plus c sine psi e2 and we take the dot product with the uh, result you obtained from v prime minus v we see that uh, we're going to have um, the following terms cosine psi cosine theta minus one e1 dot product with e1 so this is basically distributing it so let's see here i have this term uh, multiplied by this term and then i have uh, this term multiplied with um, this term and then i have uh, this term multiplied with this term and this term multiplied with this term so uh, the four dot products that i obtain contain e1.e1 e1.e3 e2.e1 and e2.e3 e1.e1 e1 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 is one because it's a unit vector e2.e3 e2 is once again because they are on different planes have an angle phi in between them cosine phi so uh, the dot product becomes because e1 e3 and e2 e1 terms are zero uh, cv parentheses cosine psi cosine theta minus one plus sine psi sine theta cosine phi and we can see that this is basically the answer we are looking for so we have showed that shown that indeed i becomes i i so this is uh, I, I, the result suggested by the problem statement.